I was just reading a little something today about uh, old Elon Musk and his uh, supercharging network. Uh, he was asked if why other car manufacturers aren't trying to use his, uh, you know, aren't making a deal with him to use his uh, supercharging network because he's got, I think anyway, the largest there is. Uh, and he says, well, they are, but it's low key. Now, there's kind of a history here. These uh, Tesla back, I guess it was about 2014, somewhere around there, I'm not sure of the date, uh, was in talks with auto other auto manufacturers and, uh, you know, saying he could share the, uh, the charging system, the supercharging system. And they never made a deal. And my thought is partly the reason they never made a deal was supercharging was free at that time. It was essentially built into the cost of a car. And I'm not sure anybody else wanted to, uh, to actually do that with their cars. And I'm not sure that was all that was involved. Uh, he wanted them to, you know, pay part of the installation and so on. Yeah, that would make sense. And uh, anyway, there was never a deal made back then. Well, there is supposedly now. It's just nobody's talking about it. Uh, some sort of adapters or something. I've used Electrify America, EVgo, a number of them, uh, Green Lots. Uh, all of them were incredibly hard to use. And this is when I had the Chevy Bolt. Uh, it just seemed like I was always calling them all the time. And since I've had the Tesla, one of the things I got that Tesla for was for that supercharging system. Because my daughter had used it and it was really good. It really worked well. Uh, there was no connection issues. You connect it up and it started working and everything was fine. Uh, so none of the other charging systems I thought were all that great. But I did think the supercharging is great. Now, if he's now going to make a deal, I, I would have to say I guess that's okay except I've been to some of the supercharging stations in California and they are packed. Uh, there will be 24 of them, 26, 16, something like that, and they're all full. You know, every time I've gone there, they have been. Where I live up in the Northwest, it's pretty much a desert out there, so yeah, there's plenty of room. But are we going to, you know, if this does go through, is Tesla, are Tesla owners going to lose a bit? And that's kind of a concern I have. Is the system going to get worse? Or is it just going to get more crowded? Uh, and I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Anybody that wants to uh, maybe talk on this, uh, go ahead and make a comment on it. And uh, maybe we'll discuss because I think that's an important issue, especially for Tesla owners. That's it on this one.